The title today is Guesswork or Revelation. Guesswork or Revelation. And the scripture says, And no man takes this honor to himself, but he who is called by God, just as Aaron was. Hebrews 5 and verse 4. Hebrews 5 and verse 4. Now, the part of the verse that I want us to, to focus on, because another um, translation says, no one chooses himself for this work. No one chooses himself for this work. So the part that says no man takes this honor to himself, no man, no one chooses himself for this work. Guesswork or revelation? I want to talk to us about this morning. You know, when it comes to knowing what our purpose is, we have two options. We have two options. Guesswork or revelation. Guesswork or revelation. One, guesswork. Let's, let's look at guesswork for, for a few moments. Guesswork. If we only rely on our own knowledge and feelings to find our purpose, we are likely to get it wrong somewhere. Yeah, somewhere is going to mess up. It's going to get twisted. We'll probably um, end up choosing the purpose we think we'd like mm -hmm, rather than the purpose that's actually right for us. We can't see the whole picture. So we need revelation. We need revelation. So here's revelation. In the Bible, we read, to be a high priest is an honor. But no one chooses himself for the work. That's what the scripture says. No one chooses himself for the work. He must be called by God as Aaron was. That's really what the scripture is saying to us this morning. Right? To be a, a high priest is an honor. It's an honor to be a high priest. But no one chooses himself for the work. He must be called by God as Aaron was. My brothers and sisters, we can uh, apply a similar thought to our own calling. It's not our choice. That's the first thing. It is not our choice, but it's God's choice. And we can actually draw comfort from this right here this morning because it means that when God has called us to do a certain thing, we can be confident that he'll provide the resources, he provide the wisdom, he'll provide the connections and a lot of strategies that we need to fulfill this call. We can also find guidance in his word. In the Bible, in the scriptures, we can discover insights into why we exist, how life works, how best to live our lives, what to avoid, and what to expect in the future through the Bible. There are a lot of self-help books out there, and, and while many of them contain good advice, None of them are God's personal message to his children. Let me say that again. There are a lot of books out there, a whole lot of books. And although they give us great insights and, and we discover new things through those books and how it works for us, none of them, none of them are God's personal message to his children. The message paraphrases Paul's words. All right. The message Bible paraphrases God's and Paul's words. And it says God's wisdom goes deep into the interior of his purposes. Mm. When, I, when, when you read something like that, you're like, wow. God's wisdom goes deep into the interior of his purpose. It's not the latest message, but more like the oldest. What God determined 
as the way to bring out his best in us. Each one of us, my brothers and sisters, has been created to fulfill unique purpose in life. Yeah. Each one of us. And we uh, were created to discover it. We need to turn to God and his word, his word, the scriptures. Turn to God and his words, not the world's wisdom. Not what everybody else is doing, not what everybody else is saying. But look to God who is infinite, infinite wisdom. for our calling so what now if you're not sure what your calling is if you're not sure because a lot of us still not sure what our calling is and and that's okay that's okay but if you're not sure what your calling is ask God to come for, for confirmation and for guidance read the scriptures day after day read the bible day after day if he's already revealed your calling to you then ask god for wisdom about what your next step need to be what next step you need to take for you to walk in your calling a lot of people are walking out of guesswork and not a revelation and that's what I want to bring to our attention today this is not a guess thing you need a revelation from the Lord and the best way to get a revelation from the Lord is to seek his face through his scriptures talk to him he will reveal himself to you he will reveal himself to us. So our question today. Guesswork or revelation? Look in yourselves this morning. Because only you can tell. Only you and God can tell. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you, Jesus, for shining a light on your word this morning. That we could hear your voice, Jesus. We can hear your voice speaking to us. Thank you, Lord God, for your revelation in your word. That we can receive this word this morning to our hearts and glorify your name. Have your way once again, Lord Jesus, in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. And we say amen. And amen. And amen. Thank you, Jesus, for speaking to us.